In this illustration, we are going to analyze a non-uniformly charged ring. And here in situation, we are given that a ring of radius r is placed in x y plane with its center at origin. The ring is non-uniformly charged in such a way that its linear charge density varies with angle measured from plus x axis in anti-clockwise direction as lambda is lambda naught cos theta coulomb per meter, where lambda naught is a positive constant and we are required to find electric field and potential at the origin. Let's first draw the situation to understand it better. So, if those are coordinate axes x and y. So, on these coordinate axes we draw a ring. On this ring we are given that it is non-uniformly charged. So, in case of this non-uniform charge distribution we can see it varies with cos theta. That means, if theta is the angle measured from plus x axis on theta equal to 0 the charge density will be maximum and as we move away at an angle theta the density will decrease in this manner. And when theta becomes more than 90 degree it will tend to be negative as for obtuse angle cos theta is a negative quantity. And as we move away at angle pi again the density will be maximum. So, this is the charge distribution which will exist on the ring due to the cosine function. Here we are required to find the potential in electric field at origin. So, by symmetry we can see as total charge of the ring is 0 potential at origin must be equal to 0 that is one answer of this problem. To find the electric field at origin at an angle theta we can consider an elemental arc which is of width r d theta where r is the radius of this ring. And due to this elemental arc electric field at point O will exist in this direction which is at an angle theta with the negative direction of x axis and say its value is d. So, here we can calculate the electric field at origin due to element is this d e we can directly write as k d q by r square, where d q is the charge of this element and the value of this charge d q we can write as lambda multiplied by r d theta as here charge density is given by lambda and its length is r d theta. So, this will be k by r square multiplied by d q we can put as lambda naught cos theta into r d theta. So, this is the value of electric field due to this element. Again the electric field will have two components one is d cos theta and other is d sin theta. So, here on integrating d sin theta gets cancelled out and d cos theta will be added up. So, here we can directly write the total electric field at origin is given as e at origin as this is twice of the integration of d cos theta which is integrated from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Now, in this situation this will give us a twice integration from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. If we substitute the value of d over here, you can see this will give us k lambda naught by r multiplied by this cos square theta d theta. Further this is 2 k lambda naught by r we can take common out it is integration from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2. Cos square theta we can write as 1 plus cos 2 theta by 2 d theta. So, integrating we are getting 2 k lambda naught by r and this will be 1 by 2 theta plus cos 2 theta on integrating we are getting it as sin 2 theta by 2. So, this becomes 4 and limits we apply from minus pi by 2 to plus pi by 2 here this 2 gets cancelled out. And on substituting the limits you can see sin 2 theta on substituting pi by 2 or minus pi by 2 in both cases it is becoming 0 and this will be pi by 2 plus pi by 2 is pi. 
so the result we are getting is k lambda naught pi by r and on substituting the value of k as 1 by 4 pi epsilon naught this lambda naught by 4 epsilon naught r that is the answer for this problem for the electric field at center.